Hello and welcome to another video of Wolf's Lab. This time we're going to rank the Avengers from weak to powerful. Now, we're also turning on Guardians of the Galaxy and no comics, only movies. Now, here we go. 16th spot is Hawkeye and Black Widow. Now, both are just weak and raw powered. They're good at controlling the power they have. They're just don't have that power much. However, if I really, uh, if I <clears throat> have to say who is more powerful, uh, I would say IDK. I don't know. Anyways, of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Man, I really think Groot should be the leader. I mean, Groot's very powerful. Except for the fact that he has very much more. Anyways, Star-Lord is basically the same as the two before and has much and has a different more power, but a bit weaker control, so he still is on the 15th spot. And the 14th spot is Rocket. Rocket just uses guns, which makes him weak in raw power and extremely good in control. Now, he's just extremely good at controlling, which makes him very powerful. Very compared to the others, but still, you get what I mean. 13th spot is Nebula. Nebula is just really in, um, in middle between both control and raw power. So, she is not a bad, not a bad Marvel character, but she isn't very good either. Anyways, 12th spot is Gamora and Groot. Gamora has a bit more raw power, and Groot is just completely raw power, but with very small amounts of control. And 11th spot is War Machine. War Machine just really simply has a lot of guns. So, really, yeah. Tenth spot is Falcon and Winter Soldier. The reason I put Winter Soldier over the machine is because Winter Soldier is good at martial arts, plus he has that awesome arm made out of vibranium. It's now vibranium, not before. Before it was titanium. Anyways, and Falcon is also on 10th spot. Why? I mean, uh, his, just, his wings just act as swords, so, and he has two guns, so, yeah. And 9th spot is Hulk. Hulk is just, again, just like Groot, a lot of raw power and small amounts of control. And 8th spot is Captain America. Okay, now we're talking. Captain America has a vibranium shield and is extremely powerful. I mean, all of the Avengers are especially powerful, mostly because of his shield, but also because of the fact that he's tall, he's strong, and he knows the martial arts, and plus, he can wield it real near. So, really, he's just extremely powerful. He has a lot of raw power, and is also good at controlling it. So, anyways, seventh spot is Thor. Now, I really wondered who is more
more powerful Captain America Thor. But I chose Thor because, I mean, if you saw Avengers Infinity War, you see why I chose Thor over Captain America. I mean, anyway, Spot is Iron Man. Iron Man is extremely powerful. Not in his early days, but in but after he made his Mark III. Mark III was his first extremely powerful suit. I would turn it as in my in my this day update created top ten Iron Man suit. So yeah, that's uh. And did you see Mark 85? I mean, did you see Avengers Endgame? If you did, why? You probably know why I put Tony in this spot. And fifth spot is Spider Man. Spider Man is just an incredibly powerful one with, with incredible amounts of control. I mean, not much, but. His sheer power is powerful, and he can defeat basically any but any Avenger. I mean, at least the ones that's below him, and there are certainly lots and lots. I mean, lot a lot. Anyways, fourth spot is Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is incredibly powerful and could if he has the model the time can control and manipulate time but he doesn't in avengers endgame so he doesn't which is why i put him on on fourth spot not first spot He has lots of sheer power and is extremely good at controlling that power. And third spot is Black Panther. Now, the only reason Black Panther is above Doctor Strange is because of the fact that Doctor Strange did not have the Ark model. If he did, he'd be number one. But he doesn't. And Black Panther, his vibranium suit, martial arts, and other stuff makes him the, almost the most powerful. Second spot is Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch is a witch who can defeat basically every single Avenger. Uh, and there's only one Avenger that's more powerful than her. And if you saw Avengers Endgame, you know why I put her in this spot. She basically crushed Thanos. Oh, and just so you know, the next one also nearly crushed, crushed Thanos. And that one is Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is just a god in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That is, unless the opponent doesn't have the Infinity Gauntlet and some of the stones, but wait, really. That is very powerful. Anyways. Now, Captain Marvel dominates by just a huge amount of sheer power but no control she just has a lot of power so like so much that she's on number one so anyways that's it for this video if you enjoyed it like and subscribe and bye